Welcome to Wallatopia. It's always great when you come across a solid, well-made, well-priced trifold wallet. The kind your dad used to carry. Well, we have that here today with the Bullhide Belts Trifold Wallet. So let's get into it. Ziploc plastic bag, no frills, but you're gonna get what you want. Get rid of that, and here we have the wallet. I mean, just nice burnishing. Looks like it's a, a painted dye on this. This is a medium brown color in particular. Look at some of the sewing here. It says machine sewn, you can tell. Oop, let's flip it over. Yeah, nicely reinforced in the places that you would hope. Just a really nice fit and finish on this. Already broken in for us. Great little wallet. Now to the feature review of the Bullhide Belts Trifold Wallet. Most uh, trifold wallets, we see there are no exterior features. Maybe a quick access slot would be nice. In the interior, we see right here on the left-hand side, this sheen. And the sheen is because we have plastic. This is a, a marine grade plastic. That's here as an ID slot. We go to the middle, we see we have one, two, and then on the right hand side, three, four, four card slots that are quick access, and then we have two more. We have another card slot right here under the middle, and another one under here on the right hand side. So we have six card slots plus an ID slot here. If we go to the interior, we have a very generous, as always with trifolds, billfold pocket. This is excellent and very deep. And that is a quick review of the features of the Bullhide Belts Trifled Wallet. Now onto the card and cash insertion test. Minimalist carry, five cards. I think reasonable is, you know, probably six. The, the company you saw, I got uh, six cards in there plus 10 slips of cash. Company recommends up to eight cards with each slot holding one and the undercarriage slots, the one behind right here and right here, another two. From a quality perspective, it's designed and made in the United States. We kind of pull some of these cards out here. It is a full grain veg tan leather and it's a premium English bridal leather in particular. Let's see here. Oh yeah, and that smells not like money. It smells like a great leather, it really does. It comes in four colors, brown, black, tan, and medium brown. This is the medium brown color. I really like this, and it just has a good look to it. And the finish isn't too slick, it's not too rough. The interior um, you know, has a very nice refined uh, finish on the flesh side. I really quite like that. And with any of the slots, I'm not a fan of anything covering the ID here because I don't care if this is marine grade or you know space grade, it's still gonna fail before this leather, guaranteed. The one thing I do like is I love this uh, burnishing finish here. Lightly burnished and then it's hand dyed in this black. It just looks so good and it, uh, it functions really well too. Now, looking at design, let's, let's take a look here. So I'm going to be accessing my cards more frequently than my ID, so I don't know why my ID is here first. It really should be over here. Cards should be here. Um, I, I don't know about you, but uh, I rarely have my ID. And honestly, when I have to pull my ID out, it's because I have to pull it out. I can't just show it. I can't just do that. I haven't had in years uh, the opportunity where they've said, oh yeah, just show me. They want to see it because it's so easy to counterfeit. They want to look at the barcode, those kinds of things in the back of it. Now the billfold in the back here is, is mentioned. See, I have these cards in here still. This is really good. It fits all the currencies. Let me pull that out and show you again. So we've got uh, US dollars, British pounds, Australian dollars, uh, yen, and yen, and these larger euro notes are typically the problem. Again, the 50 and the 100 aren't used very frequently, so you're still really to the 20 euro note, but they just slip in here without a problem. And not only that, but like most trifolds, it gives you room. But this is ample room. 
So you have opportunity for more cards over here, of which if you place that, you'll see that it fits just fine and it folds without an issue. You can put receipts, whatever you like. That is one of the major advantages of trifolds is you have space, yet it does collapse into the, the size of a, a traditional bifold. And then it just comes down to the thickness, which if you, is, if you ha can handle it, it's not a big deal, it's excellent. It measures 4.0 by 3.3 by 0.6, and it weighs 70 grams. It has a three-year limited warranty. The company primarily makes belts. It makes sense based on the name of the company, as well as gun holsters, specialty items like dog collars, wine bags, cell phone holders, and, and other accessories that they have. A great company, all of it's made here in the United States. So now let's get into the final score. For quality of four, I would probably give this a five, but I don't like that plastic ID insert there. And uh, the design's a little off of what I think usability would be more frequent. Price of three, features of three, and usability of three because of that, and perception of five. It still gives us a decent score, 36 out of 50. Hey, a lot of people don't mind the plastic and those kinds of things. If you're not one of those, great wallet. Definitely, if you're a trifold person, excellent, excellent buy. Look at these other videos, see if they interest you. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.